thousand dollars today on the live stream pretty happy about it uh was able to find a few trades to take still copy trading my 20 funded apex accounts uh they're all the 50k accounts they actually just dropped their brand new sale it's 80 percent off each account that you get uh for both this month and all recurring months as well as one day to pass you don't have to pass it in one day it just means that if you hit your profit target you'll be funded that night eight thousand dollars on my accounts today um one step closer to another 40k withdrawal like i had a couple of weeks ago and uh yeah pumped on it so we're gonna go and dive into the trade recaps today from my live stream which happens every day on my main channel trades my map make sure you go subscribe over there let's dive into the recap yo good morning <laughs> i had to wait for the music to start let's be real good morning happy thursday it's the last day of <clears throat> my trading week there will be no stream tomorrow i will be out all right guys <clears throat> first things first 80 percent off is back as well as one day to pass for apex so if you pass your accounts one day to pass doesn't mean you have to pass it in one day it means if you hit your profit target you will immediately pass that day uh, if it takes you longer than one day that's fine if you do it in one day then you get your funded account that night okay set second things first uh this is where we stand on the daily chart kind of looking a little slower up here huh we had some news drop uh we had core ppi drop we got inventories at nine it might move the market a little bit it does it's not always a big mover at least for the nas uh ppi came in and anyway, we had jobless claims let's see what the market did for it uh red nice green numbers market goes down red numbers market goes up oh yes third things first gary brings it up if you have not rolled your contracts yet now's the time to do so uh roll over to the june contracts you should no longer be trading march you should no longer be trading in qh you should now be trading in qm name of the game for me is uh base hits be patient for it we got news at nine o'clock uh we are rejecting vwap we're doing the same thing that we've done every single morning which is dump and then uh we rally basically out of it so we'll see if that's the case or not but patience for sure uh make sure my accounts are rocking and rolling here yep got all 20 accounts firing away uh, i think this is day 17 which means I trade tomorrow very quickly for 18 19 on monday tuesday will be day 20 in my next 40k withdrawal woohoo what is base hits base hits just means it's not a home run it means i'm not looking for a ginormous trade i'm just looking for a little bit of a trade looking for like 5 10 15 points i don't need 100 points on the nasdaq all right ready for a quick little dad joke as we uh, wrap up the first five minutes of the day Sundays are always a little sad, but the day before is a Saturday. Very hard to read on this black on maroon. I thought it's max 2K withdrawal for the first three months. Per account, brother. Per account. Hello, buyers. Snapped it. So I have $2,000 times 20 accounts, which means $40,000. Uh, you can go watch my most recent 40K withdrawal video and hear all about it. All right. Back up to VWAP, rejecting VWAP. That was a nice snap to the top side after barely sweeping the overnight lows. We are still inside yesterday's value area. Something to note, we're inside yesterday's value area high and yesterday's value area low. So if we reject and continue to reject the 80s, you're pro I probably am looking for rotations down. However, it's seeming like it wants to push it. If we push VWAP in 80 and get above yesterday's value area high, then the overnight highs are definitely in play as well as the rerun of PPI jobless claims, right? But that's not until we really crack probably this prior high with some strength because then until then we are still inside yesterday's value area and still expecting rotations but as always i like to wait the first 15 minutes because i hate getting screwed in the first 15 minutes of the day and having nothing to do for the rest of the day <laughs> there's nothing worse than being forced to walk away in the first 15 minutes and missing so much opportunity because i just was so impatient that i had to trade right now no i don't do that shit. so i wait i wait it out okay starting to look a little bit rippy here this is good uh we got 23 minutes till ibs set we got some buyers kind of stepping up here is this going to be the type of rip that just gives us no entry options that is what i am nervous about 
because the last few days it has been a quick and swift drop and then a quick and swift rip here comes the v yeah and it's just like it's what we talked about we are we are a hundred points off the lows minus this first dip we had a 20 point ish not even a full 20 point dip here and then it just a rocket ship it's so it is hard to trade that in my opinion it is very hard to trade that and i feel very confident saying that it's hard to trade that because i know it's freaking hard to trade that you either like you're either just blindly momentum shorting or you're blindly momentum longing it's not going into any good levels it just rips part of it man part of it going back a little bit i mean this is a one minute doji could potentially play for the sweep of 07. Rotation back into VWAP. It's not that high, though. 10 points. <sighs> so tough. Hanging out at yesterday's value very low. Delta's kind of falling off a little bit. All right, there's a sweep of the low into 300. I'll play the point of control balance if we get it. I know we got some sellers here for sure. I am long off point of control. I'm going to keep it pretty tight because this is, we got some sellers taking place. I'm looking at top of the range as an exit. I think yesterday's value really low makes sense as an exit as well. Assuming we can catch a little bit of a buy up here. I'm ready to kill this thing as well. I want to watch this. Testing the middle of the range, 300 psych level. And I'm out. Orders are flat. I'm up 265. Positions are flat. I took seven points of heat there for that uh, 13 point winner. Should be what, like five grand or something like that? 265 times 20. 5300 bucks. Drop some bags. A little trade off point of control. Um, snapping 80 is a no good there. A quick little sweep of point and control totally makes sense. Uh, this prior low is also no good. So yeah, you slap, you snap 80. It's not, not a good look. Uh, and then yeah, the rotation back up to the top of the range. So pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing really to that one. Oh, uh, all right. I want to find one more trade ideally. Also no stream tomorrow. That's why I'm going a little long right now. Cause I got a little bit of extra energy. So we ended up bouncing 60. 63. That's close enough, honestly. <laughs> Test of the prior wick. 72. Kind of an interesting spot. Let's get a little bit more. I trade 69, 68. I'm going to take a quick little stab long here.
Looking for 80. We swapped the baby low. I'm going to go and take that off. Positions are flat. Orders are flat. Up 420 on the day. It's three. Times 20. It's three. It's three. Uh, let's see what slippage looks like. Uh, not terrible. Only one account got slipped in the good way. Um, overall, 402 across the board. So 402 times 20 after commissions. That's a net PL, 402 times 20. That's what, $8,000? Yeah, 8,000. Nice.